What is going on guys, Castell Ray here, and today we're going to be talking about this crazy rumor that has been lingering in the nets, and it is the A9X rumor, a camera that apparently is going to be designed to compete with the Canon EOS R5. Is this camera ever going to see the light? Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel, Gaston right here, and remember, I'm giving away a brand new Sony a7C. To enter in this contest is very simple, simply subscribe to this channel, enable notifications, and go follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Gaston Shutters. I'm going to be announcing the winner on December 24th, the 25th, so good luck to all of you guys. Alright, so you guys have heard the rumor, you know, apparently Sony, apparently, is creating a camera to compete with the Canon EOS R5. So, let's actually stop here for a moment. So, this entails that... Sony just realizes that the Canon EOS R5 exists and they're just going to release the camera, right? Now, I see this because this camera is rumored to be announced at around first quarter of 2021. So it means that in a couple of months, they were able to design a camera, um, you know, arrange all the logistics for manufacture, and they're going to have announcement ready for first quarter of 2021. Let's hold on to that one, okay? Now, it's being said that this camera is going to do 8K 30p with no overheating internally. Now, let, let's let that sink for a moment. 8K 30p with no overheating, and they're going to make this happen in a body like the Sony A9. Now, remember, Sony just released the Sony A7S III, a camera that I was rumored for, what, four and a half years, more or less? And it took Sony all this time to perfect all the technology and all we have, actually not all we have, I'm glad that what we have is 4K up to 120 internally into two SD cards. Not only that, they create a new type of media, the CF Express Type A. And uh, again, it took him almost five years. So now this rumor is saying that Sony, you know, just heard that the Canon EOS R5 is a thing and they put a camera together and they're ready to announce it. So hold on to that one because there's more about that. Now, Sony Alpha Rumor is saying, or their source is saying that this camera is going to have 50 megapixels. And once again, an A9 with 50 megapixel, I think it wouldn't be an A9 anymore because the A9 is a journalism camera, it's an action camera, it's a sport photography camera, it's an event camera, a camera that has a super fast buffer, you know, super fast burst. And having 50 megapixel, um, you know, would actually change the properties of this camera. And without going any further, we can see what the Sony A7R4 is. It's a 61 megapixel camera, and I always talk right here in the channel how that camera slows me down so much. So I think if Sony is going to release a camera like this one, it's going to be a complete different camera, guys. It's not going to be an A9 type of camera. Now, I can see a Sony A9 III, but once again, if we're going to see some you know, increase of the resolution, probably Sony is going to cap it at 30 megapixel. Or chances are that they're going to leave a 24 megapixel because there's nothing wrong with that camera having 24 megapixel. One thing that I can see is the uh, A93 having the new CF Express Type A, you know, having the new EVF and the new flip out screen, which is, by the way, what they're saying that this camera is going to have. Now, that is actually common sense to think that Sony is going to be introducing the flip out screen and the new EVF and the much more expensive cameras, you know. I always say anything above, you know, $2,500, chances are that we're going to see the 9.44 million dots EVF and the brand new flip out screen from the Sony a7S III that has the brand new menus and touchscreen capabilities. So, um, again, I'm a little bit confused because I think that if camera is going to be like this, it's not going to be on an A9 body. And not too long ago, maybe uh, a week ago, I actually released a video about our contacts from Asia telling us about a new a7R5. Now that camera is also said to have a brand new different sensor and we couldn't get the you know the rumor if the sensor was going to be higher or if it was going to be lower and I forecasted a sensor being a 50 megapixel sensor so probably Sony Alpha rumor source is getting maybe the information right but it belongs to another camera and chances are that it could be um, a Sony A7R5. Now I did not get any of these crazy rumors regarding the Sony A7R5, uh, you know, having 8K video capabilities. Um, so something might be happening to Sony for sure. That is for a fact, you know, and they may be working on something really good, but I don't think the Sony is going to design a camera just to piss off Canon. 
that's not the way that Sony has been doing things. You know, I've been shooting with Sony for over six years now. I see a pattern in the way they do things. You know, they do things because they believe in the things they do. They don't just do things because the other people are doing it. Remember, how long did it take him to actually come up with a flip out screen? So, number one, Sony's not gonna pull a quickie with this one. And uh, the other thing is that this camera may cost, this is one of the last pieces of the room or around $5,000, $5,500. I can see a camera being around $5,000, $5,500 or the long with this capability. Now, will it be 50 megapixel in 8K video? No overheating internally? I don't know. And will it be on A9 body? Most likely, I don't think so. I think it's going to be a complete different body, guys. But I don't know. Let me know what you think, guys. Drop your comments down below. Do you think the Sony is going to create a camera to compete with Canon EOS R5? Or do you think they're going to do something completely different and actually just do their thing like they have been doing and introduce a new piece of gadget that is going to have, you know, things that they believe are things that people need because that's the way that Sony does things, guys. So again, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget about the giveaway of the new Sony a7C. And until then, I'll see you in the next video.